All right, they're great. I'm going to show you how to upload your own photos now. So in the prior or the previous video, I showed you how to upload elements and photos that were already on Canva. Now I'm going to show you how to use or how to upload photos from a website or from your computer. So the first picture that I added was the Alpha Project logo. So I just went to Google and I typed the Alpha Project logo and I went to Google Images um, and I found this one. So I went ahead and clicked on it. When you find the image that you like, click on it and then you're going to two finger click or right click. I have to two finger click because I'm on a Chromebook. And you want to click on save image as. I want to save it to my downloads. Okay, so it's all right here in my downloads and it's called Alpha Project Logo. Perfect. So I'm going to just click on save. Once it's saved, you're going to go back to Canva and you want to click on uploads. It's the cloud with the arrow. And as you can see, my uploads are already saved. So the cool thing is, is I've already uploaded these pictures, so it's already there. But I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click on upload an image. And remember, I got to click on my downloads. And there it is. I'm going to click, click on open. And it's loading. It takes a few seconds. Okay, and now I'm going to click, and there it is. I'm going to make it just a little smaller so I can put it where I had it. There we go. I just want people to know that's the logo so they know what the Alpha Project looks like. So another thing is I added a chart. So that's another text feature. So right now the text features, I have a heading or a title. I have bold or cool text. I've got a hyperlink. I have a photo. I also have an illustration going to add a chart next. So I just went to Google and I, my project, Alpha Project is about homeless and helping them strive and get back up on their feet. So I went ahead and looked up the San Diego homeless population chart. I just Googled it. And the very first option is a website to the local news. Um, and there's a chart on there that I really like. So I just scrolled down. I didn't even have to read. I just looked for that chart. And there it is. So I two finger clicked again, or you can right click and you want to save image as. Make sure it's in your downloads. I'm going to save it, go back, and then I'm not going to, well, I guess I can't. You click on upload again. I'm already in uploads. Click on downloads. There's my picture open, but I'm going to open this one. Oops, this one. This one was way better. Um, oops, actually added to. So if you accidentally add to, just click on it and you can hit backspace or you can also click on it and hit the trash can. So I'm going to make my chart a little smaller so it fits here. And it's really hard to see my chart right now. So I'm going to zoom in. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's not zoom in. I'm sorry. That's full screen. I don't want to do full screen. Escape. I want to zoom in. So to zoom in, I just used my mouse and zoomed in with my fingers, but the chart's a little blurry, so I need to make it just a little bigger. Okay, zoom back out. Okay, so another text feature that I need to add with my pictures or my chart is I need to add a caption. People may not know that this is a chart or I need to be more specific or catch their eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text box or a caption, and I'm going to write chart of 2019 San Diego homeless population. Okay, so I'm going to use this little side to make it a little smaller. And then I'm also going to make my text just a little smaller too. Right now it's at 54. I'll probably want it at 42. That looks good. I'm going to move it right there. And to make it stand out even more, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my elements and I'm going to add an arrow. So I went ahead and typed in arrow in my search. And I liked this arrow. So I'm going to put it right there. And not a color that I want. I want it to match. So there we go. And now I'm going to make it smaller because it's way too big. And I'm going to move it right underneath my caption so people know, like, hey, look at that chart. Okay. So now I've got a caption. I'm also going to make my text white. I think it just stands out better on the blue. Okay. So that is how to insert 
or I'm sorry, not insert. This is how to upload photos that you found or have saved on your computer.